Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. As you see, I have made my vision board and I am happy about it because it's been in my mind since the beginning of the year. I wanted to do it then, but was doing other things and didn't do my vision board. But I said, what better time than now coming out of what we're coming out of and I know some people have been down in the doldrums and need a little bit of encouragement, need a little push. I was doing okay for the most part. I uh, kept myself busy and everything, but I still took it as time to reassess and still have some dreams that I had not written down. And that's what a vision board is. It's not a vision and mission necessarily, except it is a vision in pictures. And it can be very encouraging to look at this if you have an office or room or space dedicated to your home business or just you know your life period it's nice to put this up in a nice you know place in your home so i'm going to show you these are all the items that you're going to need or these are all the items that i used for my vision board you may get in the store and see some little extras you want to get but of course you need your board your foam board and i got this from dollar tree and it was a dollar of course I decided to use the whole board. Most people do use the whole board. Some people cut it in half if theirs is not going to be, you know, real big and grandiose. But I wanted to use the whole board. Um, sometimes people stick this in a closet and pull it out every now and then when they just need, you know, a push. But some people actually, you know, put it up like in their office or their, you know, their room or something like that. It would be great if you have an office that you use for YouTube or whatever your home business is or, you know, whatever. It would be good if you could hang it up so you can see it almost every day. Also from Hobby Lobby, I purchased some paper. These are actually papers that are left over from when I made my YouTube binder. So I have my paper there. I just have two pieces, but I'm going to make good use of it. These are pink pieces of construction paper that was downstairs with all the office and school supplies. So I have about four pieces of those right there in pink. And um, I have some pink tool right there. I have some gold diamond wrap that I got from the Dollar Tree. also have some industrial tape. I have some Gorilla Glue just in case I use the um, heat glue, the hot glue gun. And I also have some glue that I don't have pictured here, but I'm going to run and get it. Glue sticks. I'm going to use that. The clear tape I'm going to use when I get finished. Um, and then I have Mod Podge. I have some acrylic paint just in case I wanted to draw something on there, which I may not. I'm not sure. This, you can write with this. This is gold writing. Not sure if I'm going to use it, but I had it downstairs. Just wanted to bring it up. I have highlighter. Just in case I need to highlight something, I have brushes for the uh, Mod Podge and glue. Um, I have scissors. These are the pictures, phrases, and words I cut out from magazines. And I used Essence, Ebony, Black Enterprise, and I think it was called All Right or something like that. I used to get it from the grocery store years ago and I had some laying around. It's like a women's magazine. I think I said scissors already. Also, I have these that I printed, these papers I printed off of the computer. I just went on WordPerfect, uh, went on Word, rather, on the computer and printed out some pictures and I formed some words in the font that I wanted to, got the YouTube button, all that stuff. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, my colors are, as you probably, probably can see, black, gold, and pink. So let's get started. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the words and the pictures that I got off of Word. So now I'm cutting out the border or the background of each picture. And for most of the pictures, I'm going to use pink. And as you can see for the titles, I use gold glitter paper. So that's going to be real pretty. And then I'll insert the pink, like I said, with the pictures. The pink will be their background. So here's what it's looking like so far. And sometimes, guys, when you can't find where exactly or how exactly you want to put things, just kind of before you start taping or gluing or anything, just kind of place things around 
and you're going to have to change them around sometimes, but just kind of place them here and there, and you're going to come up with a good fit for you. So I'm going to keep on going. And this is where I've gotten, and I'm going to go ahead and finish everything, and I'll show you the finished product and tell you all about it. So I'm going to show you what I have here. I have God here, finances here. I'm hoping you can see that. And then up here, I have me, and then I have health, and I have travel. Up here is family, my spouse, my me and my husband, and then family is here. And if you all notice, God is everywhere on here. In each one of these things, God is there because in Him, we live, move, and have our being, right? I couldn't do anything without Him anyway, so He's in all of these. Right here in health. That's that who supplies my health. And then uh, me, Scott, even, you know, me trying to improve myself and all that. God makes everything possible. And then here, God, of course, God. And then down in my finances, y'all see this money coming? <laughs> that comes right up straight from God. And then down here in the finances is God. So, yeah, I had to, he had to be centrally located in everything. So, and here also, I have Keep It Classy. Keep It Classy. I like to, um, I'll say what inspired me to put this here right in the center, center because everything, I want to keep everything classy because that's just how I want to do things. That's how I like to do things. And recently, I was watching this. I'm not trying to throw shade or trying to be, you know, whatever. But there was there's this lady named Doctor Doctor Heavenly um, on Married to Medicine. Now, you could go to her channel and see her say this. So I'm not, you know, but she said, um, you know, I don't know if I should be acting like this or whatever. She was interviewing Melody Hope from Love and Marriage Huntsville, and. Melody was on there. She was real classy, wasn't cussing. You know, she was telling all about her business and, you know, um, all about, you know, what she does, why she does, and just everything was just very classy about her. And Dr. Heavenly took note of that. She was like, well, maybe I ought to reassess, you know, how I do things because she was on there just cussing up a storm and just, you know, and she was like, you know, we, we'll change later on, but for right now, you know, this is what people want to see. People want to see the mess. People want to see the this and the that and the, all the... I was like, oh, Lord. I don't care what people or some people want to see. I know how I want to portray myself. And um, that's not the way, you know, their women are portrayed in such bad light nowadays. We need people that try to put a better spin on what we're supposed to be. And I've, um, you know... As a, as a woman, as a lady, you should be classy. I mean, you don't have to be all half a I don't mean that at all. But you should represent yourself and, you know, women well. Um, and sometimes that's why women are not respected in some cases because, you know, there's a lot of them acting up out there now. So, but anyway, back to the vision board. Um, here I have God as my source. Of course, I want to get into my word more, even more. Pray even more, be more in tune with God and what he has for my life, what he wants me to do in the kingdom and everything. So I want to stay connected to him, uh, elevate him through me. I want people to see God in me. So that's one reason why I don't want to act all, you know, crazy and all out of sorts and, you know, fussing, cussing and just acting all crazy. It's because I'm supposed to be, um, you know, representing God. So I want to elevate him through me. Um... Let's see. And mighty hand of God. Mighty hand of God. Um, money. It comes from God. He blesses me. So that just leads on down here into the finances. I'm, I'm hoping I'm in, got this in shot. So YouTube is a source of income. And then these are two, two, two of my streams of income that I have written down. I am a, an Amazon associate. And then a YouTube creator. So I have all that here. And that's how I earn, you know, most of my finances. Um, and then I here I have grow, lead, succeed, make more money now. So you want, I want to concentrate 
that's not my biggest concentration, but I want to make it now while I can. So that's the little meaning behind this saying. Make it while you can. Um, and then, let's see. Family, of course. Still want to keep that right up under God. And myself as family. Um, want to keep my relationship with my husband good and with my family, my children good, my extended family too. I uh, want to be a better daughter, want to be a better sister, better aunt, better better a lot of things. So, yeah. Um, and then down here, it says, my best advice, play to your strengths. Start with what you know and love and think about how to make it. So that's something that, you know, encourages, encourages me because I try not to go outside of myself and do things that I'm not gifted in. I try not to do a lot of things that other people do. Um, I try to stay true to myself, even though you can, if, if, if there are some things that you see other people doing it and you would like to incorporate it in your life, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't mean that at all, but I mean, you have to be true to yourself as well. Put your strengths out there and your gifts. Be unique, so that's on there too. Um, and then I have my health. Lord, I done got even chunkier and fluffier. <laughs> so I got my health here and getting serious about, you know, cleaning out my body, taking vitamins, uh, supplements, really just eating better so I won't have to take as many supplements. I want to start lifting weights. I want to lose weight, want to eat better. So all that good stuff is there. Um, want a new vehicle. Um, don't know if it's, I think it may be this year. You know, my little, my little car is in good condition. Uh, but my husband said it may be time to get something soon because he thinks it's kind of wearing out some. Uh, it's, it's old, but it looks good. So, yeah. Uh, want to work on my natural hair. Uh, I wore a lot of protective styles and wigs and things. And I want to try to take care more take care even more so of my natural hair um then i want to focus on me some too i'm just cut well i'm still in the mothering season of my life i still have one that is under 18 and we're running the games and sometimes i try not to look like a soccer mom <laughs> but i you know it's you know before i had kids i was looking together I was looking together and um you kind of dwindle some after your kids come along because you your focus is not all on you but i want to put a little bit more focus on me i want to look together a little bit like i used to so i got, I got to get it all together so anyway i want to keep this before me this vision before me you know so because i am 50 and uh i want to look as good as long as i can as long as i can um, so yeah, that is everything basically. Got to work on, on my timing. I'm not always the most timeliest person. That's one reason why I'm, I'm always planning and in my binders, my planners and stuff like that. Because I have to stay on track. I have to try to stay on track. That's one of my, um, downfalls is my, my timing, my time. So yeah. And travel, like I said, travel. Didn't get a chance to go somewhere where I plan to go this this year and i don't know if i'll be able to due to what's going on now but hopefully we can get one one more trip in this year so i definitely do want to do that okay so i hope that you can see this i hope this is in focus i hope this encourages you i hope this encourages you to make a vision board from for the last six months of 2020 because 2020 is not yet over so don't just you know settle and say oh i'll try in 2021 no you can finish 2020 out strong okay um make you a nice vision board um these supplies uh i got at the tool i meant to put tool all around here but i was running out of time um and i said this is i, I like this look it's, it's clean it's a clean look so anyway you could put I saw someone put boa fur all around here as a trim, as a frame, and that was pretty. Um, all those things you can get at Hobby Lobby, you can get at um, Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, things like that, or places like that. Um, I cut, I think I told you in the beginning, I cut my um, pictures and things out of Essence, Ebony, uh, Black Enterprise, 
um, I think the book, the magazine is called All Right or something like that. If not, I'll, I'll write it down at the bottom. Um, one of those grocery store stand magazines. And uh, a Billy Graham, one of Billy Graham's little magazines that come around. Okay, also, also this is, I meant to have influence on here, but matching with God, I want to influence people in a, a good way. So that mac that microphone is supposed to kind of portray influence, you know, just speaking, you know, good things, trying to portray good, you know, things that God would want me to. So that's that. And I think that's it, y'all. I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this video. Please share this video to someone who you think may need direction in their life. Someone who you think may want to make a vision board or something like that. I really enjoyed the process. I didn't know if I was going to be able to find everything in the magazines that I wanted to. Some things I had to print out myself, um, which was fine. But I was able to do it in two days in two days all right so i love you all be blessed please comment down below what are some of your goals for the rest of 2020 so comment that down below all right be blessed like comment and subscribe see you guys next time bye one more thing guys that i forgot to say is i ended up covering my items with tape it just looked better to me and it was taking too long to glue everything down. <laughs> so I ended up taping everything down. I used some wide tape that I showed earlier and then the um, some skinnier scotch tape. And it came out nice. I really like this. It looks neat and clean. And I like the little shimmery shine on it. So love that, love that. And that's it.